Hi there. I just wanted to do a super quick video on how to install a UBEC into your RC setup uh, and explain what it does and how to do it. So a quick summary, this is for an RC plane, you have your battery uh, that provides power to your ESC, the ESC then provides power to the motor, that's all fine. Within the ESC is a SBEC which is a switching battery elimination circuit, eliminator circuit. And what that does is that this cord, this, this cord then provides power to your receiver. And obviously um, it powers up the receiver so you can fly the plane. And it also provides power to the servos. Okay, so here's the diagram. Power goes to the motor. The, um, the SBEC also provides power to the receiver and the receiver then provides both power and the signal to the, to the servo. So in this situation, I'll put it like that. So the signal wire is the yellow wire, the positive is the red and the negative is the brown at the bottom there. So that's the setup and obviously the, um, the servos plug into the receiver here. Now this is this setup works fine uh, if you're using you know micro or mini servos etc. This setup is fine for you know the majority of your planes which are less than 1.4 meter wingspan that sort of thing. So 1200 mil wingspan all great setup this will work fine. Once you start getting into larger planes which use larger servos, you may want to look at installing a UBEC. The reason being is that the power that is put out by the power that is put out by this uh, SBEC is about five amps. Now these these mini servos, these only draw about 300, 400 milliamps, but once you start getting into the bigger servos, these can pull about an amp each. So if you have your uh, elevator, aileron, rudder, flaps, and uh, say retracts, you can have seven servos, all at an amp each, so that's seven amps. So as you can see, the, the built-in SBEC may not have enough power to power all your servos uh, at the same time. Now you could argue that you know you may not have rudder with elevator, with ailerons, with flaps, etc. Fine, that's fine, and you, you'd be okay. But on the off chance, and then you put the retracts down. So, but on the off chance that you uh, you did have all servos going, the receiver may brown out, which is essentially lose power, uh, which you don't want to do. So what a UBEC does is a UBEC gives you another source of power okay now you can you can wire it a couple of ways some people actually wire the UBEC into to power the receiver okay so that if anything happens to the if anything happens to the ESC like if this fries or or, or something happens to it you still have a power supply running to your receiver and you can still fly and lay the, land the plane um, but if you, I mean, I obviously have confidence in all my ESC, so I'm not worried about that. But what I want to do is I want the UBEC to power the retracts. Okay, what I want to do is I want to pull off a power supply from here down into the UBEC and then feed that power to the retract servo. Okay, so that's what I want to do. I want to power the retract servo because these use quite these use a bit of power especially when they when they kick off um, they use a bit of power so when I'm flying and I come into land I put um, flaps down gear down at the same time so that's flaps down that's two servos gear down that's four servos plus I'm working the elevator um, ailerons etc so I've got a lot going on and in a bigger plane, I just that's using that's using all these size servos. I just want to make sure that the retracts um, have their own power supply and are not going to draw power from the the main receiver here. The other thing you can also you can also add your flaps. You can also do retracts and flaps 
off the uh, off the UBEC. That's another very common way of doing it. So let me show you how to wire that up. So just to quickly show you that all this is working, and apologies for all the wires. Um, so this is now all powered, all now powered up, and obviously when I move my controls, uh, I'm getting you know power and signal through to the servo. So this is how it would normally be set up. So let's put the UBEC into play now. Okay, so now we've put the UBEC into play. So essentially, the UBEC, the, the UBEC picks up the power. So you need to, you need to create, um, you need to tap into the power here coming from the battery to the ESC. Now, you can do it like this. You can just do it with a the battery connector and have this feeding off the power supply. There's a number of different ways you can do it. You can work that out. So essentially, you're pulling power from the um, from the battery supply down to here, and then this power is going to power the retract. Okay, but there's just a few things we need to. There's just a couple of little things we need to maintain. So we've now got the U back in play here, coming down here. What you need to do is with the retrack positive here is we need to remove the positive connection that goes to the receiver and just have the negative and the signal wire. That's all we need. The negative and the signal wire coming down. The positive comes straight through the UBEC. So there's our retract. Here's our, um, here's our UBEC power. Okay, and all we need to know is to get the signal wire and the negative back up to the receiver and remove this positive. Okay, the easiest way of doing it is to use a Y cable. So a straight Y cable and you just pull out the pin of the positive. Okay, so let's now connect all this up. Okay, so here's our retract. Okay, we just connect that up as normal, right? So, signal wire on the top, positive and negative. Okay, let's plug in our UBEC. Okay, so, negative, negative on the bottom, positive. Okay, now, the positive is now connected, okay? And the signal wire is now, we've got our signal wire, which is good, and we've got our negative wire here. And all I've done is I've just, I've just slipped out the, the positive. And that's, that's now obviously maintaining the positive current going through to the servo. So let's, let's now connect all of this up. Let's put this into the uh, receiver. My gear is on channel five, okay? so. Signal at the bottom, negative at the top, and we've removed the positive, right? I now need to put the battery, I now need to get power to the UBEC, okay? And we're doing that by, like I said, we're just tapping off the, the power here, okay? So, we should be up and running. Everything should now be working. My UBEC is powered up. My retract is down here, my receiver's here, and my servos are here. So, and obviously the, the, the ESC is sitting at the top there. So let's have a look. Let's get our, let's get our, um, so when I move my sticks, you see the gear is moving, and when I flick my gear switch, our retract should go. There we go. So that gear, so this servo here is now being powered by the UBEC. Okay, and that's the that's the flow. There's the there's the power being tapped off. The power comes into the UBEC. The the negative and the positive goes through to the retract. You also need to have the negative or the earth return back to the receiver. The signal line comes to the receiver as normal, but we pull out that red pin. We pull out that positive. 
okay and uh, there we go it's all working so now I can now I can uh, click my retracts knowing that the that the power source is not going to affect uh, the main servos I hope this helped okay there's one more there's one more shot of the uh, of the, the setup there's one more shot of the setup and I hope that that all makes sense and like I said the easiest way of doing this connection here is with a simple uh, wire lead and uh, like I said there it is all matched up with the uh, the power coming from the UBEC and as I said it once I'll say it again you need to obviously pull out that um, you need to pull out that positive hope this helps bye